And you know, it does that. See, I love the analogy that Chaz talks about with the texturizing treatment spray. He always says, this is sort of like, you know how things just stick to a magnet and everything swells up? That's exactly what this does. Think of a balloon. When that balloon is not blown up, it's laid flat. It's not until you blow up the balloon that you see all the volume. That's sort of exactly what the texturizing spray is doing. But if you want additional waves, if you just want to have more dimension, use that texturizing treatment spray. Use it wet, use it dry. Amanda is using the cleansing conditioner back in to just sort of re-sculpt, redefine her hair. And she's just really making her hair more PC. And I love that we're showing you that. Then she can use her, did you do this already? I just did this So one, she yeah. did her styling cream already. Yeah, and actually the set that you're using right there with the cleansing conditioner and the styling cream, that's a 32 ounce cleansing yeah. conditioner and styling cream. And that's available in um, the classic scents there, like the sweet almond, the fig, the tea tree, the pomegranate. And we also have lavender. seasonals as well, don't we, Elise? I th believe we do in this show. I thought we did. I thought we had the seasonals there. We have to get that double checked. Okay. Um, now that's on an event price, which means it's good through the end of the month. But you know what? All of your choices will be on beautyiq.com. So anything that you're seeing in the show or that we're talking about, just go to beautyiq.com. And then as you scroll down, you'll see all the products that have been used in this show or in the hour. And you know what? While you're there, check out the website because it's 24 seven beauty. There's just about everything you could ever imagine and want and love from beauty. Alrighty, then, so let's uh, check out Amanda's before yeah. now. Well, she's also not done yet, so she still is going to apply for you her mousse, okay. which, again, she's just going to really m massage that into her hair, and she's re-sculpting it. We use it on our soaking wet hair, we use it on our dry finish styled hair, and she's showing you that right now. And I love that. I mean, she's creating dimension. She's going to give herself more volume, more shine. And look at that on her dry hair. The color is ever... so different. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, when we so take a different. looking at her before and after, you know, Amanda has the same color formula that has never mm -hmm. changed. Mm -hmm. And I love that, you know, that before shot is showing you exactly what shampoo does, how dry and damaging, and how it just strips the color right out of your hair. So and Amanda didn't pay to have brassy hair. She paid to have this beautiful color, right. and now she can preserve and keep this year round. And sometimes we don't think about hair being dry and brittle and split ends when it's short. A lot of times we think about that when it's long, but really it shows you that it can happen to any hair at all. Thank you so much for all of the love and the chat right now. The chat is going crazy for when so many of you are loving it. And guess what? We do have the seasonals. They're on beautyiq.com. Okay. So if you just want to go there, you'll get a look at all the different seasonals. And remember with the seasonals, that's exactly what it means. It's here for the season. It doesn't last forever. And I just threw that in because I know that they're only here till November 30th. So that's it. That's November, November 30th, not November even 30th December. For the seasonals. Nope. Because once December comes, we are into our winter formulation. So that's why I was like, don't we have seasonals? Because I want people to get that as well and experience that. But that's why I love the bamboo green tea because it's additional, additional treatment. And then Amanda's last step as well would be the texturizing treatment spray. And sometimes I use this instead of the replenishing. Oh, so sometimes.